solo queue, road to top 5k champion, 1.4 KD. I have, this is a special video, because I have one of the craziest Rainbow Six Siege stories ever that has ever happened to me. One of the most crazy experiences that ever happened to me in my entire nine years of playing this game. It happened to me last night. I was grinding in solo queue. I'm, I'm actually going to tell you the story after this round. Because we're mid-round, I gotta lock in. How did you lose so much health in 10 seconds? We'll see what we can do here. My teammates have some of those out-of-pocket names I have ever seen in my life. Some of them I don't even want to say out loud. Why do I hear rafters or something? Yeah, we're good. I died there, that would... 3v5, lock in. Maybe a Lodgy Hot hatch drop here. This hatch, hatch is closed. I am being targeted by Deimos. There you are. Okay. And I got railed. Let's see what we can do. 1v5 in a dream. Bomb diffuser in oh my. No. Oh. Oh my. Ah. Uh. That was a good try. That was a good try. I respect that. Okay, okay, listen, 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 listen. So just picture with me if you will, right? Actually, let's take a step back. Okay. So a lot some of you may not know this, but the reason that I solo queue in Rainbow Six Siege is not because I want to challenge, like I'm trying to challenge myself to hit champion, like it's some big thing or airing. Like the reason that I solo queue is because I don't have a five stack. That's like the reason like if i had a five stack i would play in a five stack I, like I, it's not like i want to be solo queuing every single day just like just in pure pain like no the reason i solo queue is because i don't have a five stack okay so with that being said that is why so if i wasn't recording a video i would invite every single teammate to my party over and over and over again i would spam invite them just, just freaking until they joined or, or until they team killed me because i that's how important i think communication is in this game Sometimes I'll, I'll freaking I'll serve LFGs just to get a lit just to get something, just anyone to talk to. Literally any little bit of communication that I can. I'll freaking I'll, I'll, I'll literally give callouts in game chat when no one is in game chat, just on the off chance that maybe someone's listening, maybe someone just has their mic muted, maybe someone can hear me, and it changes everything about that rank game. And then we win that rank game, and then we win the next rank game, and it's so you know, and then we hit changing rank game. Anyway, with that being said. So I'm still looking, right? I end up getting into a party with my teammates. And you know, I'm talking to them and everything's cool. And then I hear a voice. And, you know, I'm sure we've all experienced this at some point. Some more than others. But it's not a man's voice that I hear. It's a woman's voice. And so, uh, you know, I, just, I yeah, so, okay, like it's a woman. Okay, so that's, you know. Anyway, so a woman's speaking. And, you know, she kind of knows one guy in the party. The other two are randoms, and there's me. I'm kind of a random. Like, you know, it's, it's a solo queue stack, right? Like, everyone's just kind of, like, doing whatever. Holy, I'm not peeking that. And so, basically, long story short, we play out that rank game. I go 10-1. and one. Just, I'm just, you know, just saying. I go 10-1. and one. We win the rank game pretty, pretty swiftly. And this girl starts talking to the guy that she knows about, like, what she's doing that day. And... Long story short, it turns out she goes to the same college as me. She, you know, she just kind of mentioned that in conversation with them. And I heard, and I was, I was like, wait, you're a senior at what college? And so then I, I told her that I also go to this college. And then we started talking. We started talking. We were like, hey, like, wait, you go to that college? Like, I go to that college? Like, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy, you know? And yeah, she lives. I'm gonna kill this guy. Never mind. He roughly jumped off. Oh, got slammed. 
But yeah, I, that was the first time I've ever met someone who lives in the same area as me. She lives 15 minutes away from where I live. And to think that I probably walked by this person on the sidewalk, this beautiful woman of a specimen who plays Rainbow Six Siege every single day. I looked up her stats, and this this is when I almost married her, or asked her to get married, was she wasn't champion, but she was Diamond 3 with a 1.3 KD. You got smoked. Uh, four eliminated. Mission successful. There, tell me that's not meant to be. Tell me that's just a co t Look at me in the eyes and tell me that's a coincidence. Tell me that that's just... So, you just queued out of hundreds of millions of billions of people on planet Earth into a group of five people, five random specimens, and one of them just happened to be a beautiful female human being who lives 15 minutes away from me and is a Diamond 3, 1.3 KD in Rainbow Six Siege. And do you know what she said to me when she found out that I was a champion? Do you know what she said to me? She asked me, Do your, do your roommates know that they live with a Rainbow Six Siege champion? Do they know? Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. That's what she, that's something I would say. Isn't that something I would say? I feel like that's that's something I would. I don't know. There's a lot of chat I experienced, you guys. I'll let you. I'll keep you updated if anything happens from it. But yeah, it's a great day. Anyway, we got a job to do. One more. Round three. I might marry her. Ten seconds to insert. I'm on Down to five seconds. Anyway, round three. Her name was Vivian. <laughs> sorry. Bomb located by op four. I think I say sorry a lot. And then I feel bad for saying sorry, so I keep saying it even more. It's a really bad habit. It's one one. One ranking, one opportunity, and it all happens right here. We need our Diamond 2 back. I was actually a game off Diamond 1 today, and I just lost so many games that, like... So, we gotta lock in. Reloading. Two minutes on the clock. Three V five. Probably sees my red dot. He might drop by me. But I saw this other guy's red dot. Oh my, we didn't reinforce. We didn't reinforce. Why didn't reinforce? I also hate those head holes with the passion. I have a strong vendetta against making head holes on church wall. I feel like there's this meta that's slowly happening where people are just slowly because I've been playing this game for a long time, okay? And people are slowly but surely just making rotates in the worst spots. I sw just to be different, I swear. I swear it's happening. Like, because pro league players do it, which, I mean, they have their own strategy, which none of us are following when we make these head holes, when we make these rotates. And so I, 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 I don't even think it's a theory. I just think it's true that, like, making head holes like that are just worse for our team. It's just not... It's just worse. Right? Because think about it. Like, unless you have your strategy to go around those head holes, it's like, okay, so this defender can flank Moto Hatch because we're going to keep Moto Hatch open. We're not going to reinforce it. We'll play third floor on the vert. We'll get Rome clear, Rome presence. A bomb. And then we'll use those head holes to deny plant late round or whatever the strategy is behind it. If we're not putting that strategy in place, we're literally just giving the attackers free lines of sight into the objective. 
You know what I mean? Anyway, that's just my two cents. 20 seconds in crap face. We need this. We really need this. Come on. This one's for Vivian. This one's for Vivian. This guy is just getting embarrassed right now. Yeah, he gave up. Come on. They called her Viv. Sorry. Watch cool name. Last. You must recover the diffuser. The, mic. the diffuser has been recovered. A lot of times people will swing right here because they play in cash, and then it's just like, I'll just swing the window and slam them. Good kill on the mute. Good first pick. Dang, the timing, dude. I freaking... I didn't think he would run right by the... It's muted. That's smart. I gotta break this window. Stay clear of the blast. Uh, four last operator standing. Let's go. Uh, four neutralized. Good round. It's a good round. Come on. Come on. Tom Clancy, if you blessed me with my wife last night, I don't know what to say. Tom Clancy might have blessed me with my wife. We could have a Rainbow Six Siege wedding. Wouldn't that be glorious? Is it just me? Yeah? Alright. This, I'm sorry, this name is atrocious. I keep just opening the menu to stare at it. I, <coughs> I'm sorry. We need to locate a bomb. 2-2. Two, two. Round 5. Here we go. Everything we got. All in, right here. Bro. I wonder how Viv's doing. She told me she was going to Atlanta to pick up her dog. She would have a dog. That's such a caring attribute for a woman to have. Insertion in five seconds. Let's go. I'm on the ace. I'm thinking they're going. They're going downstairs. I'm thinking I do the classic strat. It's kind of my go-to now. You take kitchen control, which is pretty simple to do. You just have to knock it C forward walking in, and then you take hallway control, which is also fairly simple to do. It's all. It's, not as easy as kitchen, but it's not that hard, right? To just walk into the hallway. I'll show you what, what happens after that, though. Just didn't check for a single spawn peak. Goodness gracious. Reloading. I think I'm lagging a little bit. Also, my controller is still broken. It's the crouch button. It always works when I show you, but then when I'm playing the game and I go for a peek and it Don't see Forby. Get Ash pushing. You gotta be kidding. I literally. It was. The second that I dropped off. He didn't even see. Yes, Ash. Yes, 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 yes. Three, three. My teammates are making plays. I like this. They're not scared. 
Did he get my ace charges? Yeah, he did. That was a strong C4. That's what I do. Okay, see, it wouldn't have worked. Actually, it would have worked for one of the walls. One's bandaged, I think, yeah. I open up above, and then I ace charge through the floor, if you're wondering what I normally do. That's a good flashbang. You can swing in off that. That's a good kill. Sophia and Ash are pushing someone in utility. Buck gets a huge kill yet again. Now he's stuck in utility and Buck can flank him. But he swings out. He knows he's got to do something. Buck, oh my, this guy's so good. This guy's actually insane. Friendly mission successful. I... I'm not saying that out loud. Holy. That word makes me feel uncomfortable. Is that emasculine? Three, two. Match point. Game on the line. Come on. Step by step. We just gotta we just gotta keep going. We were doing so good. And then we hit diamond three and it's just a brick freaking wall. It's a brick freaking wall. Come on. We got this. I know we got this. Lock in. I need to play better. I'm like too distracted. I wonder if Vivian's 300 pounds. You ever wonder that? She could be the ugliest person ever. Dang, Vigil actually shot my drone this time. Your drone has located a bomb. Holy sweat. Ten seconds before insertion. Three, two. Match Ten point. Before insertion. I'm sticking on the ace. I'm sticking on the ace. They may not have brought a cade this time, because we didn't really get hatches. Which would be really nice for me. Because then it's a lot easier to get the hatch. Because when I ace the side of it, they can just impact it really easily, or even shoot it through the floorboards. Yeah, we have a Valkyrie, so they're doing the same C4. So I need to not get C4. Let's see if she plays the camera wrong. She, you know she's on it, so it's going to light up blue. See, the problem is she put it in, like, underneath these things. Like, okay, she put it in the most obvious spot I've ever seen. She's going to C4 for me. I don't get killed on the table, right? Yeah. That's crazy that I walked off. She killed her Kate, too. I literally dropped a second at... That's calm. That's calm. That's how we play Rainbow Six Siege. That's how we play Rainbow Six Siege. Right here. This is greatness in the making. This is greatness in the making. Come on. I like that. I like that. I like that. Give me give me my diamond two. Give me my diamond two back. Come on. This is war. I'm not playing around anymore. We're going, we're going straight to champion now. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that. 23 ELO. I'm telling you, I just need a few wins. A few wins and I'm there.